President Hollinger, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Major Deirdre Perrin, Assistant Professor of Military Leadership at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Reserve Officers Training Corps Commissioning Ceremony for the Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary, Class of 2012. Please stand for the playing of the National Anthem and remain standing as Reverend Matthew Brian Duck delivers the invocation. God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We lift up your name. We give you honor and thanks for your many blessings and for the grace that you have given to Joshua Portwood. For this time of thanksgiving and this commissioning, Lord, we thank you and for the new life that you have given in his son, Aaron. We ask you now, Heavenly Father, for your blessing on this time, for your favor to rest upon us. We especially pray for Joshua that you would be strengthened with your power and inner man, that you would preserve him blameless until the day of Christ Jesus. May your name be ever magnified and glorified. May we offer our bodies as a living and holy sacrifice unto you, that you may be glorified in this service. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Please take your seats. Today's ceremony confers the Military Officer Commission and Oath of Office to Army Cadet Joshua Portwood, graduating member of the Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary Class of 2012. The host of today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Adam T. Edwards, Professor of Military Leadership at MIT and Commanding Officer of the Army ROTC Unit. Lieutenant Colonel Edwards will now make opening remarks. Dr. Hollinger, uh, distinguished guests, educators, administrators, uh, Paul Revere, uh, cadets and alumni, uh, family members, and especially our newest family member, uh, Aaron, and congratulations, by the way, on and Josh. Uh, on that. Uh, Welcome to the uh, 2012 Gordon Conwell uh, Theological Seminary Commissioning Ceremony. Uh, this commissioning ceremony is a tradition that marks a significant transition in a person's life. It signals the end of academic preparation for the responsibilities of leadership. It also signals the beginning of a lifetime of service to the nation and to America's soldiers. This ceremony honors our emerging leaders as they make that important transition from student and cadets to leaders and officers with the awesome responsibility of caring for our nation's sons and daughters. Today, Joshua Portwood will take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. With this oath, oath first established on June 1st, 1789, uh, as the United States' first law, Congress ensured that civil and military leaders will pledge their allegiance to the country. Joshua is a selfless leader who will make an exceptional officer. His dedication to duty, integrity, and personal courage sets him apart from his peers. He will soon be responsible for the accomplishments of his assigned mission and for the lives and well-being of the other men and women entrusted to his care. 
Joshua, as you depart the Paul Revere Battalion uh, and take on these new responsibilities, responsibilities, I would like you to keep a few things in mind. First, continue to display the personal and professional discipline that I know you have. Discipline is the foundation of everything we do in the Army. Doing the right thing all the time, even when no one is watching, and never let your standards slip. Second, continue to challenge and stretch yourself as you train yourself and your soldiers to the most stringent standards. You will continually be challenged, often with things that you would never expect. With your constant personal and professional preparation of both yourself and your soldiers, you will be able to meet any challenge. Third, communicate clearly with your subordinates, superiors, and peers. Effective communication with everyone shows you care. Place trust in your soldiers by informing them of what your unit is doing. Listen to what they have to say, especially your NCOs. And effective two-way communication will help you be successful in any mission. Finally, the soldiers you will lead and care for are absolutely magnificent, magnificent people. They carry the hopes of our nation on their shoulders, and they will succeed beyond all of our expectations if properly led and cared for. They will fight untiringly and win decisively. They will be your soldiers, and you will be their chaplain. I am confident that you will be able to provide the care that they crave. Every day that you serve with your soldiers, you will be awed with their professionalism and, the abil and their ability to accomplish any mission. The Paul Revere Battalion and Warden Commonwealth Theological Ceremony or Seminary will miss you. Thank you for your dedication to the battalion and to its cadets. We are proud and confident of you and your abilities. Uh, and your abilities to lead and care for the soldiers. Never forget that every soldier is someone's daughter, son, mother, father, brother or sister, grandson or granddaughter. If you always keep this in mind, you will know what you have to do to care for them. An education received from the Gordon, well, Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary with the leadership training and experience gained through your ROTC experience is one without parallel. Together, Gordon Conwell and the Army ROTC educators form a unique synergy that creates an effective, competent leader for our nation. Our guest, I'm proud to introduce our guest speaker for today, Dr. Dennis Hollinger, President of the Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Hollinger. Each year, it's always a great joy to welcome new students who come to Gordon-Conwell. And then it's always a bit of sadness when they graduate, they leave, and they head to the place that God has in store for them. Sadness, but also a great sense of joy in our hearts, even though they're leaving us, because we know that there are rich things in store in their life. I remember distinctly, Josh, meeting you when you came. It was down at a picnic for the men who were living in Pilgrim Hall. And I recall that day we had a conversation together and I thought to myself, here's a man who will make a mark for God. Here's an individual who will have a significant role in his life in the days ahead. And God will use them in very significant ways. And we've seen you develop. We've seen you get married. And now, a young child. And we know that God has rich things in store for you in the days ahead. And what I knew then, the day I met you, I know even more as I see the way God has led you in these past several years. Today, Josh is being commissioned into the United States Army. And this is the beginning of a very significant calling for him as a chaplain. What he faces in the days ahead will not be easy. Josh, you know that well. Uh, you will face military personnel and their families who are going through a great deal of stress in their lives, loneliness, uncertainty, loss of life, all of the things that are part of military life and that you know well you will face. Today, military families face a great deal of stress, a lot of problems. And they need God's strength and they need the best training possible to deal with those kinds of issues. Joshua, I think you also know 
that you will face, face just the daily personal strains of this call. The demands upon you, uh, dealing with situations that you had never faced before, uh, dealing with uncertainty about where will you go next. All of those things, at a personal level, are difficult to cope with. And of course, you know well, because you will begin to experience this already, separation from family for periods of time. And that's not easy. And so, as I think of what you are about to face, I think of the promise that God gave to a military commander a long time ago. Very, very different world then. Uh, it was not a world in which uh, they had the military sophistication that we had today. The geopolitics of the world were vastly different. Uh, but it was a pretty unruly army that he had to lead. To lead. The man's name was Joshua. The story is contained in the Bible. And the words that God gave to Joshua as he was about to embark on this major leadership responsibility were these. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will go with you wherever you go. And Josh, I can't think of a more fitting promise for you. Be strong. Be courageous. A gift that comes not just through your training, but also from the presence of God in your life. And do not be discouraged. There will be many days when you will want to feel, where you will feel discouraged. Days when you will want to give up. The great promise that you have is that the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. That is a rich promise for you. It is a rich promise for all of us as Josh embarks on this great calling in his life. God bless you. Cadet Portwood is now presenting Dr. Hollinger with the American flag. Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Retired Robert Lowe will now administer the oath of office for our commissioning cadet.
Lieutenant Colonel Edwards, Lieutenant Colonel Tyler Leroux, and President Hollinger will now present Lieutenant Woodward with his commissioning certificate. First Lieutenant Quote was wife Monica, son Aaron, and mother Erlene will now pin on his new rank. First Lieutenant Quote graduates with a Master of Divinity and will commission into the Chaplaincy, Chaplaincy Corps. First Lieutenant Quotewood is from Hewitt, Texas. It is an honor tradition for the newly commissioned officer to award a silver dollar to the first enlisted service member who renders a salute to him. The individual receiving the silver dollar is then responsible for tracking the officer's career. If one day the officer reaches the rank of general, the most senior leadership, leadership position in the Army, the silver dollar is then awarded back to the newly promoted flag officer. First Lieutenant Portwood will now receive his first salute from Petty Officer Second Class Joshua Sedak, New United States Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you First Lieutenant Joshua Quotwood. In closing, the faculty and staff of the Military Science Department wish to thank President Hollinger, family and friends of our new lieutenant, and the Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary staff for their support of this ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Reverend Duck offers a benediction and remain standing to the playing of the Army song. Now may the God of peace, who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal God covenant, even Jesus our Lord, equip you in every good thing to do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory 
and honor forever and ever. Thank you for your support of the Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary and ROTC program.